I'm doing for today is a quick uh, triplet groove lesson. So uh, triplets obviously sound uh, pretty cool if you're a drummer. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. And kind of gets that look from uh, the audience or other band members uh, when you might play that cool lick or something. Turn around and look at the drum like, oh, where'd that come from? Um, so I just wanted to teach you the basic uh, groove, which then kind of turns into the purdy shuffle. So it is the purdy shuffle in a sense um, once you start doing double stroke with your right hand um, but for now all we're doing is triplets with right as you're accented and then left left so staccato notes for your ghost notes and hey guys puppies puppies just joined me sorry um, so staccato for your left hand uh, a little bit towards the outside of the drum I know you can't see my snare because the hi-hats in the way uh, but if you put the point of your stick towards the outside of the drum, you'll get more rebound uh, in addition to a little bit of a quieter texture or dynamics or sound. So um, the sticking is, is pretty simple. It's just accented legato stroke. So accented note with your right and then left, left. So... So once you get that figure and just the tripla, 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 right? So with those accented notes, then you just move it to the hi hat. So then it becomes. So then you're moving your hand over for your accented note on the snare. So ghost notes with your doubles. Oops, triplets played right there, but doubles on the uh, outside, towards the outside of the drum, and your accented notes smacked right in the center of your snare for the best or best um, accented note that you can get out of it. So just turn into a simple groove with just uh, starting with just one on the kick. Um, so I don't know, let me just play with it for a minute. I, I just played it a little bit, but uh, let me play around with it a little bit and then I'll kind of show you how it turns into the purdy shuffle, okay? So at first, just keeping one on the kick. trying to not do a fill there. <laughs> I instinctively went into doing a fill. But uh, so you can move it around the kit and keep the same sticking and keep the same triplet figure and then just move it around the kit, move it to your ride. <laughs> Accented notes there, so literally all it is is, and then just moving it around the kit, okay? And uh, if you're familiar with the Purdy Shuffle, then you know that figure um, leads into, or basically uh, is kind of the Purdy Shuffle in a sense. Um, so keeping that triplet groove, but then adding double strokes with your right hand on the hi hat. So first, before you get to the Purdy Shuffle, or try to do the accents with your left hand uh, on beat three, because we're playing in six with that, um, just keep this simple triplet groove going with simple kick, get that figure in your head and get those ghost notes sounding nice and tight, um, and then we'll move on to the Purdy Shuffle, okay? So let me play the original groove again. Still just keeping um, those those single strokes going with my right hand. Then it turns into the pretty shuffle. 
uh, when you start getting a little bit fancier with your kicks, uh, they're on. They're not. Some of them are not on the beat. Um, and keeping double strokes going with your right hand while keeping ghost notes going with your left hand is difficult. So, uh, or at first, it's nothing that you can't accomplish. It's just something that takes some dedication and practice. So, um, the best way to do it is on, on a practice pad, um, obviously, to figure out your stick sticking. So, uh, the way that I kind of figured it out on my own, just after listening to it, and one day on the pad, it finally just clicked with me when I started doing doubles with my right hand and constant go ghost notes with my left hand. So, um... so I'm trying to just do the figure on the snare for you so you can hear it, but once you put it onto the hi-hat... Um, and that's just keeping simple kicks also. So once you get that figure down, so we're moving into progression here, method to the madness, right? Um, then your kicks become... around with the kicks um, in different places, but I guess the official pretty shuffle um, would be the... Uh, having fun with it, it's what it's all about. Just discovering discovering your kit, discovering um, whatever your kind of style is and suits uh, what, what your musical tastes are and for your genre. Uh, but I promise you those triplets will carry you far. Um, I'm still working on them myself and it's easy to make them sound choppy if, if you don't practice the technique right. Um, so start off with the simple one. adding different kick accents in there, or kick in there in different places, and um, have fun with that groove also, and just explore with that in different fills, um, and you're bringing your right hand over from the hi-hat to make those accented notes, whereas in the Purdy Shuffle, you're doing all your ghost notes and your accents with your left hand, okay, so it's a... Uh But uh, I'm trying to do it slow, and so you can just see the sticking and kind of hear um, hear it, and then have it sped up to up tempo. So I'm just doing ghosts and accented, uh, trying to keep it somewhat quiet, um, and then just have fun with doing fills out of it too. So you can start doing subdivisions. Um, just go back to doing sixteenths, do uh, double strokes, uh, use your flams, your flam on the cues, your five stroke rolls, your seven stroke rolls, um, all the different little rudiments and tools that are in your pocket as a drummer. Um, so I just wanted to kind of go off of uh, Rob Brown did a similar video, uh, released it just a couple days ago, and uh, I've been playing this group for, for a little while now, um, a little bit more complex than just the uh, straight. But that's 
a good place to start. So um, in order to progress to the, the other way, then it, that's a good place to start. And it's easy to just keep those ghost notes going dedicated with your left hand and you don't have to worry about, oh, when does my legato stroke come in? When am I supposed to be doing uh, the, the regular ghost notes? And how do I control the rebound? And am I using open stroke or am I using closed stroke? Or, you know, um, all those little philosophical or questions or technique things that uh, come out when um, we try new things. Um, so, you know, using those rudiments are very good because if you have poor doubles or you have poor technique, um, they will be exposed when you start playing more of the uh, complex fills or, or grooves even, um, where your timing is, is kind of a combination ride pattern or something that is not just a consistent straight eight, um, you know, um, or stack groove. So once you start getting into a lot of independent stuff and syncopation, linear patterns, um, that's that's a lot of fun. So um, and I'm just starting um, really t to explore that all that kind of stuff in depth. But depth, depth. So um, I practice the stuff, but um, you know you have to use it and then know how to apply it, uh, and then try to practice it with others and on gigs. See what works where, uh, what doesn't work where. Um, so anyway, I'm rambling a lot, but uh, anyway, I'll finish the video by just playing some of the uh, grooves based off of the triplet figure and just having some fun and we'll see what happens. All right? and stuff but uh, anyway I was trying to play a combination of uh, you know the original simpler groove in addition to the purdy shuffle while changing my kick uh, accents onto different notes um, while trying out different fills um, while not looking at my drum set and getting lost and having fun but uh, hopefully this is instructional in some way and um, even though you know we all make mistakes uh, especially when we're just practicing and I don't have a metronome going um, or anything like that so um, it's all about having fun, but you got to know the sticking to start out with, um, and it, it, don't settle for you know not playing and hearing each individual note because you want that to 
to really come out in your grooves where every little delicate uh, touch and finesse stroke that you have is heard um, and in different combinations to where you know everything doesn't just sound like you're nervous and you're you're playing from your hinge group here and muscles are tight you know you want a nice loose grip and let that stick flex um, I know there are different philosophies about it but uh, I promise you if you have um, just the wrist and finger motion you can stay still and do so much stuff and just fly around the kit without injuring yourself playing longer playing faster um, and exploring other ideas so by no means do I claim to be a phenomenal drummer um, but I, I just wanted to at least show uh, the students um, how I come out the, with these different things that I come into the classroom with um, and giving cre credit to Rob Brown where it's due um, so you know we just kind of go off of each other's ideas and then embellish uh, our own uh, styles into it so um, but it's all about practicing slow getting the figure in your head first um, then adding the embellishments um, and trying new things out okay all right guys have a great day happy drumming uh, see you at the Academy soon